Now then, now then, this is a very quick video. I'm working on a few at the moment, but while I am, I just wanted to show you a very simple module that I've been enjoying, um, GM Screen. So if I go in and go to Manage Modules, you'll see it is just called GM Screen. All this does is add a button in for you at the bottom. When you click GM Screen, it opens up a grid of panels. Now, before I go back and show you mine, I'll show you what the setting, um, what you can do for the settings in this. Module settings, GM screen. You choose how many columns you've got, how many rows you've got, and click there to wipe it all. Really straightforward how this works. I can just choose in a drop down any anything that exists in your in your world. NPC, an image you want to hand, a journal entry, a stat block of a creature. There was a huge bug with this the day it came out in that your players could also see not the contents of the items, but their names. One of my players thankfully noticed straight away in our session and messaged me, and it has been fixed now. So your players don't even see the GM screen button. I was super paranoid after I was caught. But this just lets you pick things that are relevant. You can make it as big or as little as you want. Um, and it is available at a click at any time in your game without you having to go into your libraries. So my group are going up the Selenka Pass at the moment in Curse of Strahd. I've brought up, just for quick reference, rules um, taken from the Frost Maiden book. Um, rules for avalanches, frigid water, and blizzards. And this is just one I've got. I mean, everybody ends up with table rulings. You, know, you, you will make a decision in a um, spur of the moment. And if your players are anything like mine, as you know, I'm about 106 sessions into my weekly Curse of Strahd campaign. And one of my players with perfect recall can go, actually, DM, uh, in session 32, almost a year and a half ago, you decided this would be athletic. And you think, oh. So anything like that, Going forward, I'm going to make of uh, make a note of in my ongoing journal entry here. And if it comes up in a session, I can just go, ah, well, here we said this. That's all there is. It's a really straightforward module, but I'm finding it very, very useful. When we leave, when we finish this trek up a mountain, I'll probably put some information in for the dungeon that comes after it. It's, uh, it's going to be really, really useful in all of my campaigns. Not even a three minute video. Thank you very much. Well, it's going to go over three minutes now. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I've got a few more videos coming up, a few more module overviews. Um, um, I am revisiting. A lot of people comment, I say a lot, a few people comment asking for me to do a full run through all my mods again, because that's obviously changed. That is coming. I'm in the process of doing that. And more Curse of Strahd showcases, for like locations. I'll show you what I've done in my Curse of Strahd. I've actually been working on Argon Vostholt at the moment. This video is a little break for that. As ever, comment. Let me know if you want to see anything, any modules you want me to look at. Um, and thanks a lot. Take care.